Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Danny, and this is my submission for the David Seaman Deep Contest. The number one thing is to have your cup running over. You need to be completely full on an emotional satisfaction life level and really feed yourself, support yourself, um, nurture yourself so that then you have a very positive ecosystem inside yourself which can then radiate to others and bring all of your amazing possible benefits, um, gifts, whatever you want to give out to others and give to the world. It needs to be coming from a completely full place first from within you. A second really important thing is to have clear and unambiguous intentions for whatever it is you want to accomplish or do or be in life. Because it's very easy to have conflicting, um, weak intentions that can actually, in your subconscious, compete and battle with each other and hold you back from ever doing anything you want to do. So it's really important to get very clear on exactly what you're trying to do in a given situation and then commit yourself to being 100% in alignment uh, where all your intentions are working together as one cohesive unit rather than being split and indecisive and having competing desires that really aren't compatible with each other. You have to get very clear on what you want and then put those together and you can be a much more powerful and effective uh, individual. Another thing to keep in mind to avoid becoming overwhelmed is to always just take the most intuitive next step with anything. This can really help when you're feeling overwhelmed or like you have no idea what to do next because when you just think of what's the next one thing you can do to make yourself uh, feel good or go after your dreams or go next to anything that feels right that, you, that you're drawn to, just doing that is a very important step and oftentimes you don't need to think out two, three, five steps ahead because once you're doing that next intuitive step that feels exciting to you, usually those next ideas come to you and you're ready for what's next and it, it all proceeds intuitively from there. And finally, always think for yourself on everything. Have a flexible mind that can adapt to situations, new ideas and perspectives, and always be willing to listen to other people. When you can listen to other people's ideas, hold your own ideas, and then compare them. And you know, sometimes ideas we have are ready to be thrown out. They've, they've become past their usefulness, and we can learn a lot from other people and situations. But always ultimately think on things for yourself and let yourself choose the next direction. And I think this drawing is a great example. It shows a line meandering which you can compare to your life. And at the end point, which is the now moment, you can always go absolutely anywhere, any of the 360 degrees, anything that feels right to you, even if it's completely different from the direction you've been coming from or where you've been before, you can completely change and choose your reality at any given point. And it's incredibly empowering to remember this, especially if you're feeling trapped or like your current life is at a dead end. I hope these points have been super helpful to you and maybe made you think about things a little bit different. And remember, always think for yourself on everything and let people think for themselves too. We're all in this life together, we're all learning, and there's a million directions we can always go. So keep an open mind, think for yourself, and be ready for what's next.